the law says don't arrest in this situation and let the state attorney figure it out. Todd Foster, a defense attorney who used to be a federal prosecutor, took notes as he listened to Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Golcheri reinforce his stance on why Michael Draca, the shooter in a case that's now spotlighting Florida Stand Your Ground law, hasn't been arrested. Under the Stand Your Ground law, the sheriff or the police department may not arrest someone in a similar type circumstance unless there is probable cause to believe that the person, the shooter's use of force was unreasonable. The big takeaway from this press conference, Foster says, is that Golteri isn't prepared to make a decision based upon the evidence in their possession. Golteri said there is evidence that hasn't been released to the public because the case is still open. We've seen different versions of the video and interviewed many people whose statements have not been considered by those offering their opinions, not seen by the public or by the media. Golteri reiterated that while the only video of the shooting has been released, the agency can see a more crisp and close-up version with their technology. He may be looking for details in the uh, video that we can't see from what we've uh, been shown. They have the ability to enhance video. They have the ability to advance audio. The reason the case hasn't been handed over to the state attorney's office, according to Foster, is because the sheriff must investigate all sides under the Stand Your Ground law, from the shooter to the deceased. He's not saying he won't arrest. He's not saying it's been declined by the state attorney's office. He's saying that the investigation is continuing. And once the investigation is complete, they will confer with the prosecuting attorney to decide whether or not the person should be arrested.